Hello. I haven't done a video in a long time, but right now I thought it would be a good time with what's going on with the uh, big, uh, what was going on with the abortion Dr. Kermit Gosnell and uh, his, his trial, which for some reason or another, which I could give you a good reason, was not getting hardly any media coverage. The big thing is, it makes abortion look bad and kind of exposes what it really is, what it really is about, and that's about cold-blooded murder and about a bunch of perverts that like to keep body parts and have no problem cutting a, a, cutting a spinal cord or cutting a baby's head off or anything else and then keeping the parts and then laughing and making jokes about it. And uh, just pretty much being a sick pervert, no different than, a, than the, uh, the uh, monsters like jo Joseph Bengeli in the uh, concentration camps or like anybody, or like Jeffrey Dahmer or anybody else like that. And the, and the average, in the left wing government controlled media that loves abortion and loves Obama and loves everything wicked wouldn't dare touch it. They're like, oh man, this makes us look bad. This makes us, this makes abortion look bad and makes it look like it's murder. We don't want to, even though they know it's murder, they don't care. They think it's all, they, say, they think it should be a right to kill somebody. So they're like, no, oh, we don't, we just, let's just stay away from it and just hope it goes away. And, People basically forget about it. A lot of them probably, they know they could just jump in and just say, we're going to make sure he's found innocent because we don't want him hurt. They just said, I will just leave him alone and let him get found guilty or innocent or whatever be done with it. Well, and he was found guilty, praise God. I'd love to see him got death, and I would have cut his neck. And it wouldn't have bothered me a bit because he deserved the death only what he was doing. But the thing is, is the, is the hypocrisy about it. People were on there still... When you look at some of the articles about it, talking about what he was doing, about how he would deliver a baby and then take a, some scissors, cut the, the spinal cord on the back of the baby's head, kill it pretty much, and throw it in the trash somewhere, or, or just have it disposed of later, then laugh about it, make a little joke about it, keep some of the body parts, blood all over the place, all mess, the place is a mess, it's, it's a whole lot dirtier than most any place with blood and everything. And, and then the read people still saying that oh, I'm still for abortion. It's just so pathetic that the average person doesn't understand that if you do that, that that say that is done to a child before it's born, and that's murder too. They just don't get it. They're like, it's not the same. It's not the same. That, that, that a lot of them were bad. Were saying he was evil for that, and rightly so. But if it, it, it never would have been done if they hadn't been born first. If they had to come out of the wound and then he done it, born alive, the only reason they were alive is because the abortion didn't work. Any other time it went all right, but because the abortion didn't work and they were alive and moving, and of course felt pain as the uh, witnesses said, or they were breathing and then s screaming, and, and then you know like Paul making a cry out when they did that, that was that's like oh that's wrong, that's murder. Oh, so as long as they're still in the wound, it's it's all right to them, to the average person, it's all right. It's sickening. All you people out there that think abortion's all right as long as it's still inside the wound, you're just as messed up as he is. You're just as much of a devil as he is. It's it's murder as soon as the as, as any time you do it, it's murder. I don't, and the one reason I know you can't see it because it's really in there, but and a lot of the people, by the way, don't understand. You don't see the graphics out of abortion. It's like that. What what he did. He got doctors that'll. Stick a needle into something, into a brain, into a baby's head, suck its brain out, or inject some kind of salt solution in, and we'll sort of breathe it in, and it'll kill it. It'll breathe in the salt solution, and it'll kill it. But basically, inject the poison into it, and it'll kill it. Or it'll just take it and start ripping its limbs off and tear it apart and pull it out. And you think that's normal? Well, that's all right. That's different. That's just a normal medical procedure. That's just a blob of cells ain't alive yet. And you believe that. And some of you are so stupid you believe that. You're like, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's just a woman's right. We can't tell a woman what she can and can't do with her body. By the way, the baby's body is not your body. That's another human body. That's not yours to decide whether to kill it or not because you don't feel like having it. And by the way, the majority of abortions that are done in this nation, I don't care what anybody says. If you look at them, really look at it and say this, come up with your own little junk. The average abortion done in this country is not done because the woman's about to die or because there was a rape or anything else. It's done out of sheer convenience. 
I don't want this child. I can't afford a child right now. I'm too young to have a child. My parents don't want me to have one. And, or I got too much of a life to live to worry about a stupid kid right now. And, uh, and stuff like that. That's what it really has to boil us down to. Most, all of them are like that. There's a select few that are, oh no, it's either the baby or us. It's either the baby or the woman. Or, or I was raped. And by the way, neither one of those are a good excuse or a or a acceptable excuse either. I don't I don't like to hear all this stuff. Well, what if I was raped? What, what what's your big idea in all this? Well, since I was raped, it's it's all right to kill the child because you some pervert raped you. Why would you want to punish the child for for what somebody did to you? Why? It doesn't make sense. You're like he raped me, so you're gonna die for it. Because I don't want to look at you. Because I'll think about him. Even if you don't want to look at him, why don't you not think about adoption? I don't even like that. He's your child. You might grow to love the child. You know, if you had one, if it and as bad as it and as bad as it happened by rape, you may grow to love the child. You won't love the rapist, of course. I wouldn't say you'd like him, but but the child is innocent in this matter. The child didn't do anything. The child is not the rapist. The child didn't inherit the rapist attitude and his thinking. And you just think, well, I was raped, so I, I, all I can just be right to abort the child, kill it. You're just as weird, you're just as wicked as the rapist that raped you. You're both devils. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing innocent about you. You're both perverts. And then you got the ones that say, well, uh, there's a possibility I might die, so I need to just kill the baby and make sure I live. A real mother would say, save the baby. I don't care if I live or not. I want the child to live. Dory Women Day wouldn't do that. Nope, nope. They're so selfish. They don't. They they're so worried about themselves that they're like, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't gonna sacrifice myself for that baby. You think I want to take a chance on dying, but so that baby can live? I got too much of a life ahead of me to do to let that happen. Average woman would do that. They don't. They're not worried about the child as much. They won't worry. They were just interested in getting the whole pleasure out of it, and now they have a chance of dying, and they're like, nope, nope. Let's maybe die, and and then I had a board, and then that, but but they wanted to say that because they're like, hey, just go ahead, take, go ahead and terminate the fetus because it's not really alive anyway, so who cares? If it's not, if, if it's a lot of parent, parent, parent people in this country look at it as a like terminating a child and killing and murder, maybe probably it would probably um, I believe that abortions would go way down because a lot of people say it is murder. I ain't doing it. I'm not going to murder a child. But they're so brainwashed in the thing that's just a normal medical procedure and that it's not alive until it's coming out of the womb or something then, then it's alright. It's pathetic. It's no different than, the, than what the Nazis did in World War II. Killing all the Jews. This, the, the abortions is no different. And we killed a whole lot more babies than the Nazis ever killed anybody. By 11 million in all estimated were murdered in the camps. 6 million Jews and about 5 million other Group, met several different groups of people over the over about maybe trying to think about maybe six ten years. We've murdered way more than that since 1973. It's and it and it's still going on full blast. We're still trying to defend it any way we can. The liberals are especially trying to defend it. The media tries to defend it. All these retards, these idiots, these mentally retarded devils. And, and the government wanted to defend it. The average American wants to defend it, saying it's a woman's right. It's a right for us to. Some people, there are some people that are, they are trying to defend it, saying that we're overpopulated already, and that's what causes our welfare problem. And oh, you, if you can't afford a child, just kill it, be done with it, and, and all this kind of garbage. And it's just, and uh, and if and if somebody says we're against it, they say, oh, look, these old redneck retards that want to live in the dark ages. They ain't, they ain't modernized yet, like they're just idiots or something because they don't believe in murder. But y'all don't see this murder. You know one of the big reasons why the uh, specifically why the Germans were able to kill the Jews so easy. It had nothing. And it had nothing to do with. Uh, and one thing was, of course, the Jews, so called, were Germany's big enemy. You know that was their ancient enemy. That hey, the Jews were causing a lot of problems. That garbage. That was. They had been all been always been anti anti Semitism in Europe before that. Not just in Germany, but everywhere. But that was not really what got it going. What got the murder going? That got persecution going, but the mass murder started not by that, but by there was so much propaganda pumped out, basically labeling Jews as less than human, labeling them as beasts, like they were just beasts, like they were animals. 
They were less than human. They didn't deserve to be treated like humans. They deserved to be rounded up. They deserved to be. They didn't deserve to own anything. They were just like cattle. That's and they deserved to be treated as such. That's what the propaganda said about Jews, and it was pumped into the, the to the Germans' minds, especially the children. It was pumped into them so long. All that garbage is taught in the schools, taught all throughout Germany. That's all people in Germany saw, and they believed it. And over time, they just they believed it. That's all they heard, and they just eventually believed it. Like Hitler said, people will not believe a small lie, but they will believe a big lie. That's true. Abortion. What's abortion's big? Thing. What is it? Woman's choice. That's the big woman's choice. Women's reproductive rights. It's not really a baby. It's not alive yet. It's just a blob. It's just cells. It's just blood. It's just a fetus. It's not real. It's not alive yet. It ain't alive till it's born type stuff. People believe it. It's been pumped in people's minds for over 30 years. Since 1973. And people believe it. They like it. They say, yep, that's right. See, and and when, it, when you come up and try to tell them, no, 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 it's wrong, it's wicked, it's murder, people just get blow up on you and say, oh, you're shut up, leave me alone, you devil. Shut up, leave me alone, you're just a hater, you're just a racist or something. And it makes no sense, really. What, they just, what it is, I think a lot of people just so, they just don't want to get out of that fault, that, that mindset. They're like, especially people that probably have had abortions before. I'm going to tell you, a lot of people that have abortions, they regret it later. And they get kind of upset and angry at people that stand against it because they're like, it, just, it brings the memory back of what they did. And they just say, like, no, 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 I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it, shut up, leave me alone. Other people that just know it's really wicked deep down, maybe never done it before, but they know it's wicked. They know it's evil deep down, but they don't want to be confronted with it. They don't want to be confronted with the truth. They're like, no, no, no. They just want to start, they want to continue to stand with the, the uh, liberal crowd and the progressives and continue to, and to, continue to mock people that stand against it. It's wicked. It just why can't people understand that? Let's why can't we stop this? Look at it. Look at what Gosel did. And by the way, there's more people doing it. He's not. I know people want to say, "Oh, it's just an isolated incident." Not all. Most all more other people don't do that. All the other abortion doctors are just perfectly clean. The ones down are perfectly clean. They're all devils. I don't care if they do that or not. They're still wicked devils that have murdered who knows how many babies that abortion doctors throughout the nation have killed. And laugh about it. And talk about it. And boast about it. And talk about how they're helping women's rights. And how they're making really what it is about money. That's what it's about right there. It has nothing to do with women's rights to the doctors or to the government officials. It has nothing to do with rights. They just say that to get you retarded feminists pumped up. They just say that to keep you happy. They don't care about that. They care. That's what they care about. That's what they care about. Abortion industry is a multi-billion dollar or, uh, enterprise. It makes billions. It has nothing to do with rights to them. They just say that to try to keep it going and get keep getting elected and keep all you people to like them. They have no interest in that. If it didn't make them any money, they wouldn't stand behind it one bit. If it didn't make them no money. If it wasn't making anything, they wouldn't stand behind it. They're just thinking about one thing. They're thinking about how much money and how much power they can get out of it. It's all about them. George Tiller, you think he cared about women's rights? He didn't care about that. He cared about money. He was one of the few people that did late term abortions, so it made him more money. He had, he said, I do, I give them more evil service. I kill them right before they're born. I'm even more me I'm even more of a devil. It makes him more money though. Like, yeah, that's right. And then walks around boasting about it. He did right before he died. And by the way and by the way, I don't care that he's dead either. I think it's funny that he's dead and he's in hell. But by the way, he late term aborted baby, so he was late term aborted too. That's all. That's all the thing that happened to him. He was late term aborted. Sorry. I feel so sorry for him. No, really, I don't. I don't. I'm glad he's dead. Just that won't. No, no more babies will be murdered by that man. He won't be ripping. He won't be killing any more children. I wonder if he can see. I wonder. I wonder in hell maybe he can see their faces of some of the ones he killed and boasting about it and talk about how he nobody's gonna stop him and he's gonna keep doing it. There's a little proud, arrogant face. I wonder if he sees it. I wonder if he sees their faces in hell. I don't think he sees them. I don't think he sees their... I don't think, he don't see them in hell, but maybe he sees their faces. I believe he sees their faces. And I, believe, and I guarantee the other 
the other devils that have, all the other abortion doctors that have died or will die, they'll, they'll be seeing some of their victim spaces as well in hell. Kermit Gods will see them all in hell too when he dies. And he won't be boasting about it and, they won't, and he won't be thinking about, oh, I wish I, I'm still, he'll be wishing when he's in hell, I wish I'd never done any of this. I wish I'd repented and got saved instead. <laughs>